So I know what you're thinking. This intro looks pretty good. It's pretty legit. But unfortunately, this is about as good as this studio tour gets. You see, I've been trying to film this thing for the last three days, and every time I finish filming it, there's something just not right. Either stuff up the lighting, or the mic's not close enough, or I'm just too weird or too awkward to use any of the footage. So, I've given up on this guy. This guy cannot be trusted. Instead, I'm just going to stick with what I'm good at, and I'm just going to do commentary over the top of it. So with all that said, welcome to my studio. <laughs> Studio. All right, thanks, man. I'm gonna take it from here. So, guys, this is my studio. Welcome. I've been here for about a year now, and I've pretty much got it the way I want it. It's taken about a year to finally set up, and so I guess the whole reason why I'm doing this tour is I'm almost at 20,000, and I've passed a year on on YouTube. So I figured it's about time that I showed you where I work and operate, and to give you a bit of an update on the direction of the channel, I guess. So yeah, the studio. This is a room out the back of my house. I got these awesome French doors that I can just open up, get some nice sunlight in, some fresh air. Kind of rare when you're sitting at a computer, so I'm pretty grateful for that. Whether it's on the weekends or after work, I will come into this room and either do some sort of YouTube thing or gaming thing, or I'll do some sort of illustration, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, in terms of my desk and in terms of my workflow, I like to keep it pretty clean, easy, accessible. So in terms of monitors, I have these two LG 1080p monitors. I only just got this uh, this second one, which is um, really nice because it's really awesome to use, to have Google Earth on one side or um, the game on the other side, or even like just two different recording softwares going um, at once. On either side of those monitors, I have two speakers. I bought these when I was doing more uh, music development, I guess, and uh, but I don't really do too much music stuff anymore. Pretty powerful, pretty loud things. Like I said before, this studio is also used as, a, as an art studio, so I do quite a lot of sketches and drawings in this room. Whenever I'm waiting for the game to load, I'll just do some sketches or um, continue a drawing. Um, even write down some notes or somewhere like that if I'm going to record a video. But like you guys know, I've been sort of experimenting with vlogging a bit, even though I'm pretty shithouse at doing studio tours. I do really enjoy doing vlogs, so um, I have been using my Go GoPro quite a bit that I um, got on Christmas, and um, also this beautiful Mavic Air that I swear I'll never crash or break like I did with my Spark. Rest in peace. I'm not going to go into PC specs, all of that information's in the description um, in every video I upload. But in terms of other technology I have in the room, I am currently using a Blue Yeti microphone. I'm super happy with the performance of it and have just been doing some real basic tweaks on Audition to get my sound um, silky smooth. My mouse and keyboard are super basic, nothing special there. and. And just about the only other t piece of technology I use in my videos is this iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil that I use to do all the animations and illustrations on my channel. I really love my desk. It's an IKEA desk and it's nice and large and can wind up to a standing desk even though I tend to just lean on it rather than stand. Above my desk, I have just installed some soundproofing because the echo in here can be pretty bad. I've been using it for about two months now and I can already notice the sound difference in my videos. So if you're thinking if... Oh my god, dude. Alright, so what I'm trying to say here is some people have been asking about merch and I don't really have anything in terms of merch at the moment, but I will link you guys to my personal website where I sell original pieces of art and also do commissions and I'll also send you a link to my Society6 page where I sell prints. And also, just on that note, I somewhere down the track drew Springwood. And it's probably one of my favorite pictures I've probably ever drawn. I really love this hyper detailed look and I think it captures the essence of Springwood pretty well. So if you're interested in that, um, that's sitting on my Society6 at the moment. 
And lastly, I've set up a Patreon page for people who are interested in supporting the channel financially. The way that the channel has evolved over the last six months has sort of turned it into a bit of a job. It's the best job ever, but it is also the worst paying job ever. Considering that a single episode of Springwood can take up to 20 hours to record, I am definitely not doing this for the financial benefit. For people who do support the channel, I want the perks to be very high, but I also don't want it to be totally exclusive. The videos I produce will always make it to YouTube, and my content will always remain free. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. I am pretty much at 20,000 subscribers at the moment and I couldn't be happier. I really love this channel. I really love making content and I'm really excited for what the future holds because I don't think I'm going anywhere and I'm really excited to continue the progress we're making. But guys, thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.